Hey, good morning, my friends. Welcome to downtown Frankenmuth. First official day of astronomical summer, uh, starting today, 11.54-ish or something like that. Remember, that's the summer solstice. Hey, but remember us meteorologists, we start the summer party early. We go June 1st, June, July, August, just for uh, the ease of tracking uh, some of the stats here. So, hey, let's take a look at downtown Frankie Muth. Yeah, I'm starting right there by uh, Zenders, you know, the chicken place. Hey, they're not paying me for this, by the way, although, you know, chicken dinner would be nice. Um, but we got pineapples growing here in Frankie Muth. We've had so much rain. And I apologize, folks, the sun is so bright that I may not be able to get to your questions or comments, but hey, let's go. Let's try to make it across the street without getting run over. This time of the year, it can be kind of difficult real difficult uh, so what do we got going on this weekend weather wise before we take a look at the pineapples we have great weather today I'd call it about 72 to 74 degrees across most of lower Michigan all right we can make our break now all right I'd call it about 72 to 74 degrees across most of lower Michigan today dry weather Saturday's gonna be dry the exception could be the far southwest corner of the state. Hey, there's the Bavarian Inn. They're doing a nice job with those flowers there. And, uh, you know, hey, how you doing? Good. Good morning. Happy summer, by the way. Yeah, finally. You ready for summer? I will get. <laughs> Getting things all spruced up. Yeah. Hey, when are the pineapples going to be ripe? Uh, <laughs> Don't know. Going on like this, probably be <laughs> That's true, they'll be frozen pineapple at some point. Alrighty, so Saturday dry for 95% of us. The exception is going to be the far southwest corner of the state. Some showers could sneak into the very southwest corner, the one or two counties in the southwest corner. Then Sunday, it looks like the things are tracking slower wow look at that huge butterfly on the tree here Sunday things are tracking slower <laughs> Mark wants to know what's up with the Cubs Jersey hey I grew up on the north side of Chicago and I thought you know boys of summer first day of summer and then I was thinking okay Tigers Jersey Cubs Jersey Cubs in first place Tigers I looked it up uh, winning percentage of 371 right now the nice thing uh, the nice thing is I can be both a Tigers and Cubs fan at the same time of course different leagues and the nice thing is I'll probably never have to make a choice because the two both will probably never be good at the same time Sunday's weather the rain slowing down a touch and I think many of us could eke out a pretty nice Sunday too. All right, let's get back to what's going on here. Uh, what it looks like in downtown Frankenmuth on this first day of summer. Hey, I like these. I started growing these last year. Uh, they've, they've got a name. Hold on, let me get to it. The petunias, it looks like somebody splattered paint on them. Uh, I can't remember the name, but those are pretty nice. Hey, I, I always like the hibiscus, although this year it might be a while before starts to bloom and we're at the oh I guess they call this the the visitor center in downtown Frankie Muth beautiful day you know we've been complaining about lack of heat but I'll tell you what at least we have some really comfortable comfortable weather now what's going on as we get into next week we have a major storm system yes another major storm system that will be uh, heading this way and it looks like that will get to us Sunday night and continue into Monday and Tuesday I would say it's another inch rain widespread across the area hey here they are the pineapple look at this right there we got pineapple here in Frankenmuth it's been so tropically wet here it probably feels like Hilo or wherever it rains every day it feels like that right here 
Going to be 96, says Dave Adams. I kind of like hanging out in the shade here because I can see what's going on with the comments. Um, <laughs> Lake Erie, yes, Deborah, you are at record levels. I just put a post up that Lake Michigan and Lake Huron probably will easily break the record. All they have to do is go up about another inch or so for the rest of the month. And of course, with the rain we had yesterday, the rain we have coming, uh, that will certainly happen. Jennifer Frixell, yes, pineapple. And the consumer's bill is nice too. So that's what we have here in downtown Frankenmuth this morning. We have just really nice, comfortable conditions. I mean, if we didn't have the long, drawn-out winter, I guess we'd all have to say that this would be perfect weather to have all year round. Of course, if we lived in San Diego or something like that, it would be this kind of weather all year round. Those pineapples are great. We bought one of those too. It's a, they come from one of our favorite greenhouses in the area in Saginaw. Heck, I'll give them a shout out. Abley Greenhouse, they bought these pineapples. There's some more of them down here, right by the historical museum. And uh, they have little pineapples on them. And so, yeah, it's kind of a fun thing to do. There you can see them right there. Uh, April wants to know, do I think, uh, next spring will be as wet as this spring that's really hard to tell every year is so much different um, you know the climate trends are first strongest climate trend is a warmer longer fall there we go Cindy go Cubs go yes America's team you can like the Cubs while you like any other team I think uh, except maybe the teams in their league um, the strongest climate trends warmer and drier falls second strongest climate trend kind of a wet spring March April is one of those climate trends hey you're joining M live chief meteorologist Mark Torregrossa trying to give you a weekend weather update Woo, that's hard to say from downtown Frankenmuth this morning on this first day of astronomical summer that means that the sun is the highest in the sky today it'll be up at uh, 23 and a half degrees north latitude and summer solstice solstice means sun sol stis means stand still because they when they discovered the solstice they found that the sun stopped in the sky that day and then started working its way back southward so by the way while we're enjoying the solstice they're enjoying the longest day morning a uh, longest day or shortest day of the year in the southern hemisphere so if you want winter you know where to go all right so here's your recap on the weekend weather today a simply gorgeous day you got to skip work if you can. I can't. Um, then tomorrow, pretty good looking day on the way. And then finally on Sunday, the clouds will come in. I think the showers may hold off for a lot of us. Okay, you just didn't see that. Uh, hey, here is one of my beefs with what happens in America here. Look at this. On the sidewalk. Not a fan of that. They wash into the sewer system. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not done yet. I still got to blow it off. Okay. Okay, you are good. Good. I like, hey, I appreciate that very much. Hey, lawn doctor. Um... I appreciate that very much because in my neighborhood I noticed that a lot of it's left even by the homeowners you know and I try to convince them rain hits the sidewalk turns into water right in a way so great job I appreciate I appreciate you stopping me that is one big thing folks you got to remember is that the 
fertilizer on the cement makes it to Saginaw Bay or to the Great Lakes quicker than anything uh, on a farm field, okay? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> no, Brandon. That was his uh, backpack sprayer that was making that noise. So there you go. Have yourselves a great weekend, everybody. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso live from downtown Frankenmuth. I don't know if they have any festival <laughs> going on this weekend. It seems like they do it every weekend, but I don't think so. But still, hey. Great to get out and about, and we will keep you updated on the weather through the weekend. But next Monday and Tuesday, prepare for another sump pump workout in your basement, because here comes another rain. I'll talk to you on Monday.